social banking from GT Bank. Anywhere, anytime, any device. Welcome to The Big Juice. Our guest today is perhaps one of the most loved presenters oh, yeah. in Africa. After me, of course. Oh, uh, yeah, sure, of course. I wouldn't... Lies. Inspire. It's IK. <laughs> so, you, so you came into the studio and you're, you've got the ladies going, oh, stop, stop. Is that what you do all the time? Or no, no, do you no, have no. your... Sometimes okay, I'm going to switch you know, it on. Like, you know, but when I'm awake, mostly, yeah. I, I like girls. I really like girls, you know, um, I re and then I like pretty girls, you know, so I think pretty girls are good people, you know, you can, you, like, there's something in my inside just says, this girl's too fine to be bad, you know. They can't have bad personalities. No, and even if they do, I'll give them a second chance and a third. And a third, and a fourth, and a, fourth, and a, fourth, and a fifth. Yeah. Until they change, you know, like, as in, I said, I believe in girls, so I like girls, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm friendly with girls. Oh, friendly. Yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about that in a bit. Yeah. Um, but everybody knows you as the host of Big Brother Africa. Um, but of course, you are also on radio. I don't know how yeah. you managed to fit it in. How did it yeah. start for you? Well, I was um, about to get out of university. And then I realized I didn't know what I wanted to do. <laughs> you know, most people find out before they get into university. But I didn't know till my final year in university, mm. um, which turned out to be my extra year. <clears throat> and anyway, moving on. So. Um, while I was in you that could, year. You couldn't flirt with like all the, well, I suppose there was I some tried, I tried to it? flirt my way out of university. It didn't, it didn't work. work. Those, those <laughs> university teachers are just, I don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> you know, so I, um, in my final year, I decided, okay, look, I've got to figure out what I want to do. And I knew I didn't want to be a banker. I studied economics, but I didn't want to be a banker. I didn't want mm. to work in some finance, financial institution. Um, and I figured what I like to do is talk. So I tried radio and it worked out. Long story short. Okay. And then your big break, your big, big break, well, was uh, Temptation? Team. Yeah, Temptation. Temptation Nigeria. Nigeria well, uh, which first you Studio Fifty Three. Okay. Then Temptation Studio Fifty Three. They had this big audition. I was on the radio first of all, um, and God bless good bosses, you know. And my boss at the time said to me, "There's this big TV audition mm. um, for Mnet. It's for a show called Studio Fifty Three. I'd seen the show once, you know. I didn't know what it was about. I was like, I think you'd be perfect for it. My sister had told me the same thing. A few friends, mm -hmm. and." Um, uh, I was like, look, I'm working. I can't go for the audition. He's like, I'll give you the day off. I was like, ah, guy, <laughs> easy, you know? And they're like, yeah, yeah, you have the day off. You have to go. So I'm like, okay. So I went for the audition. And you got it. Yeah, I got it. You know? Okay. See, one of the one of the big things we're going to talk about today is your personality. And I I remember the first time I met you. And I, I kind I of... the first time I met you. See, you're already it's doing it. It's kind of hard to forget. <laughs> you're already doing it. And I was thinking, I'm okay. Like, tools. <laughs> I know why they call you tools. I can work with that. <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? Anyways, but you, I work, at, I work, you know, for a radio station. You work for a radio station. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, are we supposed to talk? Are we supposed to? Know, and then right? you managed to, you know, we, we got introduced. And then the next thing I'm like, oh, I'm like <laughs> what, what did he do? Yeah, I was working hard. I was like, I like me some tools. So have you always been like that? Or is that something no, that you, funny enough, you know, I wasn't like you can't this, say no. you were shy. I, I was completely shy. No. Let me tell you how shy I was. They used to have parties in my house and I wouldn't come out. I'd be upstairs locked up in a room somewhere. So what happened? What changed? <clears throat> um, Valentine's Day. Uh, it was my um, SS2. And there was a girl I liked. Mm. And she was busy crushing on some other guy. And I couldn't understand it. I was like, this guy is not tall. He's not dark and he's not that handsome. So I was like, shit, that's what you guys like. Tall, dark, and handsome. At least, at least I'm tall and I'm dark. Even if I didn't get handsome, that's two out of three. You know, like, oh, you know you're handsome. So, uh, yeah, but you know, I'm trying, <laughs> to, trying to pull the humble thing. But you know, like, so I was like, really, what the pro what's the problem? Like, why would she pick this short dude over me? And it was, I just realized, dude talks, you know, he's friendly. He makes an effort. So I was like, okay, you know what? Out with this, done with this nonsense of being shy. Mm. You know, now I need to be friendly. I, I had a friend um, at the time who made it all that much easier. He, he was a crazy individual and a bad boy. So <laughs> we would drive the streets of Dolphin whistling at girls, you know, <laughs> and waving at them and like, hey, what's your name? <laughs> you know, like, where do you live? Let me take you home. You know, like foolish things like that. And, and I made a complete transition into being a friendly, loud person. Mm. So let's talk about your wife. Uh, How did you meet? Vitamin O. How did you guys meet? Um, it's one of those suppy stories. Or someone had told me mm. about her. Someone thought she would make a great wife, and 
I hate those RNG things. I hate those um, hookups. You know, I, I, at least I thought I did. Mm. So um, for years, I had heard about her for about three years before I met her. And I refused to meet her because I just thought, look, I don't need help meeting girls. You know, I'm, I'm good. I sort that out myself. And then um, one child, day, man. yeah, you know, exactly. Don't you know who I am? Don't you know who I be? <laughs> and then one day I was in her school, Lasu. And f we had a mutual friend. I was like, you know what? I've heard about this girl. Let me just see what she looks like. You know, I was dating somebody at the time. She was dating somebody else as well. So I wasn't really looking to mm. get into a relationship. But and then he's like, ah, don't worry. Hold on. Let me let me try and play her. So she shows up. She shows up. I'm like, oh, like, wow. <laughs> Hello. Truthfully, at the time, I was just like, my girl, you know, but I wasn't I wasn't really looking to pursue her or chase mm -hmm. her or anything. And then we became friends, mm -hmm. you know. For about five years wow yeah uh, we're just talking just hanging you know and then i had a bad breakup and it was based on the fact that she didn't understand who i was mm. you know um so i was like ah, this girl why, why why would she ask me to change and be somebody mm. else you know why can't she just understand me like this girl all of my wife the vitamin o you know i was like ah, wait a minute because mm. that was the first time i was like Ding. okay <laughs> we this girl understands me she knows who i am she's mm. not trying to change me she can you know so I called her up. I'm like, come, come, come. Yes. What are you up to? And she's like, fine. I'm like, so I had this thought. I know you're dating somebody, but... Um, Break up with him. I'm thinking you and I could be a good couple. We could get married. She's like, hey, you know, I'm dating someone. You know the guy. You're, you know, you guys talk. I'm like, yeah, but that doesn't look like a forever thing to me. I'm not saying break up. I'm just saying when you're done, I'll be waiting. You're a girlfriend snatcher? I know. I'm, I'm a liberator. You know? She That's was, what they're calling you nowadays. Yeah, she was wasting, wasting time with the guy. Marking time, you know? So I was like, nah. So you know, do you still see this guy around? No, somehow he's disappeared from the radar, you know, so. He's probably going to watch this and say, I can't. I know, but <laughs> I'm thinking all things work for good mm. for everybody. So he's probably found somebody that's more suited to him. My wife would have killed him. Not just anybody could have married my wife. She's gangster, you know, she, she needed. She is. She, she needed is. somebody like me. Well, she is quite yeah. gangster because there have been times when, um, you know, she's made like the... Social media? Yes. Oh, wow. She, she, she's made the blogs because she, yeah. she said something. My, my wife then... performed Voltron in a second, you know, just like <laughs> blazing sword, slice somebody's head off. And, you know, she's, she's different from me. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm more... Um, I'm more calculated in who I will fight, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, I won't fight you over just everything. You can insult me forever on social media and I'll let it go. And she's just, if you go, if you get too personal, she will, you know, she will brandish a sword and take your head off, you know, she's that kind. And if you, if you take, make it about family, she'll take you on, you know, so. And I appreciate that about her, that's great stuff. Uh, let's talk about how you're, because you are very friendly, very flirtatious. Flirtatious. And, Appreciative and, of good things. Yes, yes, that as well. Yeah. What's going on there? I think what was happening in that place was that, um, that looks like uh, Jocelyn Dumas. Um, I think she was stuck to the wall. How how did she get stuck? And I was to the trying wall? to pry her off for her safety. That is really not what it looks like. I'm in that picture. You can see my legs on the wall for support. And I'm trying to save her life. Maybe somebody had come by with some Evo stick or some super glue, rubbed it on the wall. Jocelyn was on the. the, the and then this one. This is after the, after the, you rescued her. This is after I rescued her. She, she was, was so grateful. grateful. Right. And I was doing something, and she turned at the same time we bumped into each other. Okay. Very casually. Yeah, like, and in this particular uh, picture, we saw something. We were watching a football match in a club, and you can see from her expression that she was happy about the goal they scored. And I jumped up as well in, in excitement and almost pushed her over, but I caught her by her hand. Like, you can see. Yes, yes, of course. Up there. Of yeah. course. Do we have any other pictures? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Somebody does their homework. We are going to take a quick break now. All right. Yes. <laughs> and after that, we're going to be talking to IK about Big Brother. Okay. And your um, your tips, the tips that you gave out uh, that got you trending. Oh, yes. <laughs> IK's tips to get in the man. <laughs> yes, we're going to be that talking about a that while ago. in yeah, a little bit. Sure. Don't go away. <laughs> Welcome back to The Juice. We still have the fantastic IK here. Making love to the cameras. Let me All right. The, let me do the LL Cool J one. <laughs> no, he doesn't do that. <laughs> He's always licking his lips. No, but he. Okay, always. I can't do it. But it's just no. He. You have to like. Li <laughs> li 
don't worry about it. Anyways, let's talk about Big Brother. Yeah. Big Brother, own. there have been some things that I'm just like, mm, they, I know, right? they, they show, they're showing that on TV? They make it difficult not to show some things those housemates. You know, like... What has been, I mean, you've been doing this for, you know, yeah. a few years, but what happened in Big Brother that just made you kind of go, okay, I've seen a lot, but this I was not expecting. Uh, you know, the different things, every, the, every, uh, this sounds strange, but nudity still shocks me. You know, like uh, when a housemate decides to show off something, you know, like we've had um, housemates, like one time Luke Clay was walking through the living room in a bath, in a, uh, a towel, and he just, you know, whipped it off. Now, if you're downstairs by yourself alone, chances are you probably do that. it's you the camera's looking at, not the, not the mirrors or the mm. walls. So, and he just whipped off the, ca you know, the, the towel and he's just hanging all free sailing and everything. Do you, do you think that they sometimes forget that the cameras are there? No. Well, yes. Okay, all right. Uh, now, there, there hasn't been, I don't think there's been like a full, full on like celebrity, you know, big brother. No. You've had like one or two celebrities, you know, going to the house and everything. Yeah. If there was going to be like a proper, proper, like Would full on. Would I in the house? Well, you know, you, you'd still be hosting, but who would you love to... To have us housemates? Yeah. Genevieve and Naji. Um, yeah. Genevieve and Naji. I'd like to have um, Kate Henshaw. Uh, Nigerian why? bride. Yeah, why? Kate Henshaw, Kate Henshaw is live. She's like all the way live. She's alive. And then she's live. You know, she, 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 I don't know how to explain that to her. Until you meet her and know her, she's, she's live. She's yeah, always, she is very. She says it. She thinks it. She says it. You know, she's quick like that. And then Genevieve, because we only see, most people only see the Beyonce of her, you know? And I think she's a really, really, really sweet person as an individual. Mm. And there's a, a shyness. I'm not, I'm not claiming to be the closest person to her in the world, you know? Uh, so please, I'm not fans of but the few times I've met her, there, there's a, there's a lady-like shyness to her, right? That is kind of attractive, you know? Um, yeah. Yeah, so I'm crushing. Okay, <laughs> but also there's there is also a slight gangster side in her eye that I see that I would really? like to see more of. And I think if you put it like a Kate Henshaw, a Genevieve, and then a Rita Dominic, you know, fire, you know, just fire in that place. And I can see them beating boys, you know, just it'd just be fun. Now, so you you were like the wild child. Yeah. Now it's sort of like your um, you've kind of turned into somewhat of a counselor. Yeah. Because you did trend on Twitter I for love your I love IK's love. tips to getting a man. Yeah, a lot those. of a lot of blogs put that I up. Remember those. I and good some tips people too. Well some people thought some people thought, okay, yes, I agree with them. Some thought that some of the tips were a bit chauvinistic. Yeah. So did you have what was the feedback like? Lo well, most people I think like the tips. Mm. But I don't know whether that was just be because it's me and some people just tell you, oh, you're doing a good job, you're doing okay. But most people like the tips. And then a few people thought I was being a bit chauvinist, you know, like, ah, you're so uh, old Learned school and African man and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, look, you know what? There are a couple of things you need to get with if you're in Nigeria. One, Africa is different from the United States and from the UK and from Europe, okay? So yes, we are a bit old school, the guys, you know? And I'm a guy, one of many. Mm. The way I think, is the way many men mm. think, you know, so got, get with the program. To, you've got to learn the rules. You know? So which which of your tips was, ended up being the most controversial? The one that you had um, like a lot of, no, this is Learn right. to Cook had about three shows after that on the radio that people are just like, you can't tell girls to cook. Why can't he cook? I work like you. I work a nine to five. I also work a job. Why should I learn to cook? Why can't he just get a cook if he's into food? And blah, 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 blah. I had a girl come on my show and try to talk me down like no you can't you can't tell me to cook i don't want to cook i'm never gonna learn how to cook any man who's gonna be with me needs to learn i'm like are you single she's like yes i'm like ah <laughs> yeah so learn what, to cook was the most controversial what about be uh this one be careful not to be too independent uh yeah no girls like that secretly you know um as much as they want to be you know independent woman the truth is everybody likes to be taken care of mm -hmm. you know um, but the truth is, with guys, we need to be needed. If a guy wakes up and his girlfriend doesn't need him for anything, he will find somebody who needs him, you know? That's why you find that some woman, in a bid to be so helpful to her husband, she starts to work her nine to five, she's earning all this money, now she's paying the rent, she's paying the school fees, she's paying... The guy will take his small salary and be giving one small girl BIS, you know, credits, <laughs> you know, like, you know, it's because she, he just needs to be needed. He needs 
to feel like his wisdom is beneficial to mm. you, like his money is doing something for you. So if you think you're doing him a favor by not asking him any questions, not learning from him, and suddenly not taking his money, you're wasting time. Okay, we're gonna play a game or two. Okay. You ready? I don't know, <laughs> am I? So a little birdie told me that you're a really good dancer. Oh wow. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Okay. I've got a song that okay. I know you kind of like. Okay. And you're gonna dance. Uh, are you dancing too? Um, I, yes, if you motivate me enough. Oh, oh, do we need space? Are we going to move? No, 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 you can just, Over you here? can go there. Oh, yeah. But well, you were like, here first, are you, are you open for a live dance? If you want to. Have you got change? Yes, I've got change. You got change? Let me see your money. You ain't got money? They're holding it. No live dance if you don't have, you know, like, hey, hey. Okay, see you Okay. No, yeah. All right. Then, then let me do my special move. Right. I ain't got the butt, but you have to like, <laughs> you know, like stop the engine like, <laughs> okay, twerk, 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 twerk. I can't twerk, man. I've got the you Miley Cyrus. Twerk. I've got the Miley Cyrus disease, you know, like, I can't, I can't just. Uh, too much. No, oh, just twerking. Okay. He's actually really good. Let me, let me try my yaya. Let me try my yaya. Let me try my yaya. Get a, get a hold on it. He's twerking, he's twerking! <laughs> he's twerking, yeah! <laughs> Where's my credit card? We're about to swipe. <laughs> swipe the well done, well done, well done. That's there goes my you street cred. You are the first guy that has twerked on the juice. There goes my street cred. All right. I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> it's the juice. They made me do it. Your wife is like, oh my yeah, goodness. There he goes, doing it for free again. Okay. Thank you so much for stopping oh, by. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you. I, I mean, I've been on the juice. I've officially been juiced. You have been juiced. Yeah. I like that. I'm going to say that to somebody. Have you been juiced? What, you? you, have you no, no, you have to. Have, have, have you been juiced by tools? Ooh, ooh child. Chew, five, 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 tools, five, five, five. tools, tools. Hi, I'm Tools. If you enjoyed watching that, make sure you subscribe to the Indani TV channel. And you can also watch more videos here.